What's going on guys? So it's my birthday and I wanted to thank you all, all you guys for wishing me a happy birthday. It's been really awesome. It's almost been kind of too much between my phone and Facebook and YouTube. I've had like 500 happy birthdays already and <laughs> I'm trying to like go through the emails and actually do ones that like are pertaining to uh, doing business and it's there's probably another one um, to doing business and it's kind of funny but um, it feels good. It definitely feels good. So I feel kind of old though, I'm not going to lie. I feel a little old today. I think it's like the first birthday that I actually feel a little bit old, so it's kind of a weird feeling. But um, got some awesome sticks for you. I actually got five, five sticks for you guys in one video, so that's really awesome. Four of them for the same dude, one's for someone else, and it's so awesome I just had to share it to you guys. Um, so let's start off. So this is Brennan's Arsenal. I'm actually, actually going to do four sticks for him. Um, three are Assassin Pockets with white throne mesh, so he's going to have a nice little white... I don't know, he's going to be, have a lot of bright white sticks uh, this summer season. So the first one's a Brian Answer Pro. Um, nice shape head, uh, kind of in a, uh, the cool, kind of weird time in um, Brian where they're doing some new things. Um, really flexy head, but but not bad. And um, um, it also got has like these weird square sidewalls, so like you have to double knot them to the sidewall to make sure everything gets tight. So it's not as clean as some of my sticks, but um, came out nice. Um, really good good channel on it and it's um actually the channel got a little screwed up because of the tail can you see it it's kind of getting blown up like crazy right now there we go so you guys can't see that it's hard with the all white there we go nice assassin channel on it um it's gonna be a good stick i have a good feeling he's gonna really like all these so that's the first one um Second one is a surgeon, or not a surgeon, sorry, a um, professor, X6 head. Um, this is actually the first one I ever strung. I have a nice channel on this one. Try to get them all the same, um, all with that nice assassin pocket in them and all white. They all turned out really, really, really clean and all with thrown mesh. So there's two. And the third is probably the nicest one because it's a uh, um, superpower and all white with the uh, assassin, really clean, awesome looking stick. I forgot to cut a string, so I gotta take care of that. That's pretty funny. I cut every single string out here besides that one, um, but uh, and this one also has a really really sick channel on it. Um, really nice to find pocket. Um, the uh, superpower really takes uh, from mesh well, um, especially the assassin, which is a little bit lower pocket. You're gonna get a really beautifully defined channel in it, and. Um, it's nice because the um, throw mesh is a little bit um, stiffer than other wax meshes, and this head's really flexy, so it gives you um, a nice balance between flex and um, stiffness, and uh, the feel of it's really nice. Actually, um, probably one of the nicest feeling thrown uh, mesh pockets I've done is in the Superpower, and um, it's got that great shape to it. So that's his third one, and then the fourth one's his Beauty. This thing, this thing was pretty fun to do. So here's another Superpower Chrome with a thrown pocket in orange, gray, and white, and it just turned out absolutely beautiful. So we did uh, uh, neon orange for the mid or for the center, and then uh, highlights in gray, uh, mids in white, and then um, gray for the outer part, and neon orange for the sidewall with um, regular orange shooters in it, and it just looks perfect. I originally was going to do two tones of orange in it, but um, he, he wanted something, you know, a little bit flashy for this one, but he, he, he's kind of a, not that flashy of a guy, he said, I mean, hence why he'd get three white pockets. So I wanted to give him something, you know, that it's going to catch people's eyes, but has that little more classical, collegiate look to it. So um, with the chrome, I decided to bring that gray and some white um, instead of doing the two-tone orange, which I think would have made it a little bit too uh, gimmicky for him. Um, and I love the gray. The gray really brings it in from the chrome to make the white pop and the orange pop but yet add an element, you know, it's not really, it makes everything better, it doesn't take away from everything, and that, that's what I really like about it. And um, the superpower just takes the, the throne pocket so well. And so, um, I think, yeah, well, it has one more connector than I normally do, um, um, but it looks really nice, and though, because it's a longer head, it can really take it really nicely, and um, I just love this thing, really love this pocket, and it uh, looks really great, and he also got a, uh, orange screw in there. You can see it's going to be covered, but you know, it's those little things that count for my sticks, and um, it's really nice. 
I wish, you know, the Chrome would stay on because I'd probably get one. Um, I saw one uh, a few weeks ago that was, uh, cause I don't know if you guys know this, but you can dye the Chrome. Um, it's just a plastic coating that's like kind of heat wrapped around a white head. So if you dip this in dye, the Chrome will turn a Chrome color. So like if I dip this in yellow, this would be yellow Chrome to Chrome fade. And um, it doesn't turn like a solid color like most other dyed heads would. I don't have one near me. Um, oh yeah, I do. Hold on. So see, oh god. So see how this is like a solid color because this this head was white to begin with. This will actually turn a chrome dyed color, and it looks really cool. Um, like uh, when you see like um, the clutch, you know the the, the two tone uh, fade uh, uh, chrome ones. That's what it will look like if you dye one of these. So it's really cool, and it it makes it even step out even further. It makes the chrome even shinier, which is really awesome. Then I put it on my. Uh, my like blue chrome crypto because I thought it was kind of crazy to do a whole chrome stick. Kind of got me thinking it's kind of nighty, kind of uh, throne esque. I was kind of thinking that'd be really cool to do an all chrome stick. Um, so that might be in the future, um, but we'll see. I got enough sticks in now. But so Brennan, hope you love them. They all turn out really beautiful. Um, they each have really interesting elements to them, and it's gonna be hard to choose which one you play with first. Um, and this one just absolutely turned out beautiful. And I'm definitely going to have photos of this one up on Facebook. And I might actually put this one up on the website as the throne display for a bit just because I'm, I'm really proud of this one. It came out really nice and um, just a really beautiful, well-balanced, unique stick. So awesome. And then since it's my birthday and I wanted to do something special for it for the throne, and if 4 6 weren't for enough of you guys, I did one last night. When, um, what was I watching? I was watching something and I was like, man, I just want to string a lacrosse stick. So um, I did it really late last night, but um, I wanted to release this to you. And some of you guys already found out about it, so you're the smart ones because you went on the website. But I'm going to be releasing the limited edition Black Devolt Fade Throne Mesh um, in limited quantities. <clears throat> and so it's up on the website right now. You're able to go on and purchase it. Um, and uh, some of you already have, so good for you guys. I put it up yesterday afternoon um, to test everything out and make sure the photos were before the announcement and some of you saw it and purchased it and those are going to ship out today even. So um, I wanted to string one up to show you it. So this is actually one of Drew's sticks. I also am doing two other throw mesh pockets for him. Um, the other two I believe are both assassins or one might be assassin, one be a knight and they're in the Nike leads. but here's his STX Professor and with the black to volt fade throw mesh and all volt stringing. And then I did give him a black top nylon. And um, it's just so cool when you do the volts sh uh, shooters in it um, because you're able to fade. It's like the fade goes two ways because like the volts now coming up into the black even more. And it just, it's so awesome. The pocket on this thing is so sick. I took this to go get breakfast this morning. Um, probably just don't know this, but um, I string a lot of sticks at night. And then in the morning when I go get breakfast, I take a walk and I take the sticks with me and that's when I test them out and then when I get home I eat breakfast and then I put them in a package and ship them out to you guys. It's a nice little routine that I have and um, so I took this one this morning and everybody was looking at it because it, it, it really stands. I mean a kid playing lacrosse in Brooklyn kind of stands out but when you have a stick that looks like that, it's just going to do it. And I also, this was also cool, I put this on uh, the Titan Classic that I got for my birthday from Nick and um, it was fun. It was just a really good morning to have this crazy flashy stick and the new shaft and you know go out there and, and just throw around a bit and um so absolutely beautiful pocket um so i did volt for everything um he originally said he wanted some volt and black but um the it just i cut one for the top and it just the volt just makes it so i did all of the the uh, sidewall in volt um triangle top sidewalls and throat and then just did the black in here because um, I don't have volt in it and I didn't want to put white in it. So I did black in there and it's kind of cool because it kind of hides it. It keeps the black really, or the top really black and then fades really nicely. And um, it's got that cool like middle section that's kind of like uh, like an acid green to the volt where the fade is and it's just it's so awesome. This is a night pocket. If you guys didn't know, this is my pocket. And um, I absolutely love the night pocket. So. That was the other good thing. Um, as for the screw on this, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I just put a regular screw in it because I was just this morning. I might give him a black one. Um, I'm going to try and see if there's a way to get Volt, but I think it's going to be pretty hard. 
but um, we'll see. I'll see what I can do because I think that would just be next level if that was Volt. And um, that's it. So I uh, drew a little preview of your sticks um, and this mesh is up for sale. It can also be custom strung by me with the same color setup or you can order a stringing kit with this color setup. Um, I think this is probably the coolest way to do it. Um, unless you, maybe you're doing a white head, then I might do a lot of black stringing and then um, volt shooters or maybe black shooters with all volt stringing. I know there's a few different ways, but I would definitely stay within the, based on the head, within the realm between volt, black, or white is going to make it stand out um, the most and also make it the cleanest. This is probably the most flashy way to do it, I would say. And um, if you did a lot of white in it, it it's probably it makes it a little bit more classy. Or, or black on an all white head, but um, it just is awesome. It's a lot of fun, and I just love where the fade is. It's like perfect um, with the with the, uh, the shooters being bolted as well. So, is that everything for today? Let me just take a second and look around. Um, I think that's everything. Um, gonna probably order my uh, helmet today. Um, I'm gonna kind of keep that little secret. I think you guys know mostly what I'm gonna go with, but. Um, uh, I'm excited to get that in. It looks like I'm going to have to go back to my old C Pro though for this week, so I'm going to be going back to high, like freshman year of high school helmet because um, that's the only one I had laying around now. And um, but hopefully when I get that in, I'm going to start working on a graphic wrap for it. Um, came up with some cool ideas yesterday, and um, I just got to figure out what company I want to go with and which one's going to kind of you know do uh, what I'm looking for because I want to do something really sick. And uh, that's everything. Um, so here's all of Brennan's heads again if you want to see them. So we have SP, Professor, Answer, and the other SP. So that's pretty awesome. That's going to be a sweet package to get in the mail right there. And um, I'll get you screws for all of these. And that's everything, guys. So have a good one. And yet again, the Black to uh, Bolt Fade Limited Edition Mesh is now up on throwingfstrings.com. So have a good one, and uh, talk to you guys soon.